Hello, 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 everybody. Um, you're likely just coming out of a, uh, a time lapse that I was doing. Um, so one of the big focuses on my of the city now is increasing population. Um, I have a plan that I haven't got quite into motion yet, where I want to build a what's the word for it? I want to build a um, a town, like a farming kind of town, like an old, like a medieval. Um, European or a medieval British town. So right now I need to build up my population so I can actually afford them. Or afford a new tile or get a new tile. I can afford it obviously, but I'm not allowed building anything new right now. So what I thought I would do right now is just show you guys what I did. So in that time lapse you probably saw that I was focusing quite heavily on my tram lines and maybe doing a little bit of traffic because I'm having some issues with here. Actually it's all sorted out now. Um, because all these guys want to go into the same lane, as you can see here, it slows down a lot there because they're like, we want to merge over right here and not over there. So, yeah, what I did is I actually, I did a little bit of work in here. This is the uh, university district right here. So I've added a little uh, one-way road with parking where we can get some high-density residential so we can get some more university students coming up in this area. And uh, the next part you guys are going to freaking love. I am so proud of it. So this here I had designed previously, and I've decided, hey, I'm going to fill in some space over here. So it is, I actually did a transit corridor for the trams, and look how good this looks. Oh my god, it is so beautiful. we got these little slip lanes coming off here, and our pedestrians can cross over, and trams going right through the middle of this road, and like, it just looks so good. So It looks so European. Like, I'll zoom out a little bit here, but like, look at this, it's like, I'm, it's what you would expect from a transit thing like in a city like Vienna in Austria or I don't even know, like Berlin or something. Like you have these beautiful transit roads where you have the roads on either side, but you've got the transit going through the center. And I am so happy with how this turned out. Like I'll take you for a little tour through it. So I'm obviously having some traffic issues, but we'll deal with that. So look at this, I'll give you a little fly through. So like you come in, the trams come through here and they go through this beautiful looking area here where they've got all these like nice cool looking it's got perfect little turn here we got these like awesome slip lanes going into our lower density residential and it just looks so european i mean the buildings all look the same which is the only downside i think like they're all pretty shitty little buildings but i digress like look at this you got these nice little roads and oh you go off and you've got your nice little park here and then if you continue on the roads split off and actually you can your transit all the way over to where we have our stadium here where we got our I think it's a soccer basketball never mind and it comes right into the university where we have this nice little university like transit park I haven't built the park out yet but it's got it's surrounded by all these high density residential buildings and oh it's just looking so good I am so happy with how this looks like we have these little roads that go behind um, where like if you just come through you've got all these like high density stuff here like residential commercial and then residential on the side and we've got a nice little area here we've actually got low density residential coming in and we've got our new little train station right here i don't think anyone's used it but if people want to come into our city they can come here we've got all of our uh, our office space coming out on this road it did cause some issues like zoning all this stuff in like with traffic so i actually created a new slip lane just in case people want to come to this side of the city or go on this side so they can come in here and it will just make things look a little bit more manageable but my god am i ever happy with this like oh man i'm planning these this this uh whole little district here will go all the way up to the end right here like to this probably to this bridge here and we'll stop it and we'll have like little some green spaces there and yeah it's Things are looking like really freaking good. And, I mean, what's our how's our transit? Do? Our traffic 76. It's dropped a lot. Obviously, we're having some issues here now. And our transit sitting at let's see, we got 3,100 people out of a 25,000 person city. Um, obviously, we've got some issues with traffic in these areas. Like we fast forwarded a bit. Like there's certain. Let's check. Let's see what our hot spots are. Obviously, here we got a bit of a standstill in this area. Um, that will sort itself out in time. It's just due to these traffic circles having a lot of issues. Um, obviously, we have some issues here because cars are coming in. They're going right off here, and they're probably coming across. And uh, yeah, it's gonna have to. It's gonna be need, needing some redesigning on the uh, the traffic flow front over here at some point. But right now, like, okay, that's not really flowing at all, is it? 
right, let me just check this here. If we do this, uh, we're gonna get these guys like able to flow through because that will actually clear up a lot of the issues we're having in there. Um, I actually don't know why traffic is having as many issues as it's having. But I mean, it'll it'll take some time to clear up, and once uh, once things get a little bit cleared up, it should be okay. But I am so proud of how this city is looking. Like I've never built a city that looks this way. Like I've never had a cool looking area like this. Like this just looks so good. I'm so happy about it. Um, and for the next episode, I was actually thinking either I buy facility full, whatever. Okay. Um, either we buy a spot in this area right here. And we build a town along here that's like maybe a farming town or even just a small little town that hangs out over there or we go across and we build it over near this mountain here. Like it's going to be a medieval town so I'm thinking like somewhere strategic like if you're in a war but that's tough right because we don't have the space for that. Maybe if we buy this out here we can actually build it a waterfront medieval town just in here and we can potentially connect it up by like we can have this train line come through. And we can like have a line come off here where it actually stops in this town. We can connect up the two parts of our city. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what I've been up to with this episode here. Um, I'm just like, I'm pretty happy with how the city's looking so far. I may have expanded a little bit too far out this way, but I really needed to build this interchange because it's really keeping my city, uh, my stuff safe or healthy. Let's. Transit's probably gone up again. 76. Ooh, it's dropping. Well, that's mainly due to this whole area being a freaking bogged down in traffic. I'm prob that's probably the issue. Like, look at that. It's like, it's just a traffic. My city's a traffic -y mess. And I'll sort it out here right quick. I, and I know why this is a traffic -y mess. It's because I did that. No one really gets the right away here, folks. Oh, wait. No, actually, you guys should get the right away because these guys are just going up this way. Um. Right, I don't actually know. Oh, everyone's just going to the traffic circle. All right, yeah. So I'll leave you guys off with a beautiful look at this awesome looking industry like road here. Like it looks, I'm so proud of this. We've got a lot of issues in our city. Like we've ha we're having a lot of different issues going on. So, but yeah, this is uh, it's gonna be not the longest episode, but not the shortest episode. I'm just so excited about how this city's looking. I've never, I've never designed a city that looks, is that airplanes in there? looks quite this good. So uh, this is the Frustrated Canadian, and we're having fires. Let me, let me, ah. Let's just toss a fire hall right there, because <laughs> apparently I don't have uh, the ability to get fire drugs out here. Um, so yeah, this is Frustrated Canadian, and uh, I'll catch you all in the next episode. I, uh, I hope you enjoyed this, because I can tell you I did. Uh, have yourselves a great day, week, morning, hour that you're watching this, and... Uh, I'll see you later. <clears throat> this is the uh, the Fresher Cane, and I am out of here. I uh, thank you, everybody. Cheers. <laughs>